Hello everyone, welcome to Force Galaxy. Hope you are doing good. So today in this video, we will be discussing about the Salesforce queues. Okay, so what are Salesforce queues? When we require these Salesforce queue and how we can create how they are useful for us or for the client in the Salesforce. Okay, so basically Salesforce queue is a container. Okay, so queue is a container. Here we have the multiple records of a particular object like suppose lead is an object okay and this container contains the different different number of records and now these records are not having any specific owner or they are without any ownership so this container is now known as the queues okay so they are assigned to the Salesforce queue okay so basically in Salesforce queue is a container with the multiple records of a particular object type. So this is the simple definition of the Salesforce queue. Now the next question come is how we can create the Salesforce queue and why we can require the Salesforce queues. Okay, as whenever we used to create the record, then the the user who is creating the record is the by default owner of the record, right? So why we require the Salesforce queues? So what happens like in the lead management or in the case or any any custom object manage, management when there is a need that multiple users should take care of this particular record then in such cases we require the Salesforce queues okay like suppose uh, take an example of opportunity okay in the opportunity we have the stage okay and this stage field has number of values okay number field values okay now what i want whenever my opportunity is created and the opportunity stage is this value so at that time one user that is the different user should take care of this opportunity okay whenever the stage is passed from one and come to the next stage then at this time i want that different user should take care of this opportunity okay and again when it comes to the next stage then again i want that different user should take care of this opportunity that is for the single record we are engaging different different user to take care of this particular record okay so in such management also we require the salesforce queue okay so in such cases whenever we require the different users to come in a picture and take care of the records then we require the salesforce queues okay so this is the very basic example to explain how the salesforce queues are useful in the management okay uh, so next comes is there are some key points related to this salesforce queue let's discuss them okay so let's discuss some of the key points or the benefits of the salesforce queue so the first point here come is the record ownership okay So what happens whenever we used to create the record so single user is the uh, by default is the single user is the owner of the record okay that means that the responsibility is on this single user for the complete record till its completion okay so in the salesforce queues what happens now multiple users comes in picture and can take the ownership of this record and this record can be managed very easily okay and efficiently okay next key point come is the is the public group as a salesforce queue okay this means in the salesforce queue we can add individual users also and we can add multiple public groups also so what this makes uh, how it is useful because in the public groups again we have multiple users added okay so whenever there is a requirement we have different different department department one and department two and we want that these two department work together for a particular record okay so in such cases we can add them to the salesforce queue and and now both the department can work as a team on a particular record okay so this is the uh, second benefit of this salesforce queue again the next point we have the manual or the automatic assignment okay so when 
so one so whenever we used to create the record so by default who whoever is the login user will be the uh, by default owner of the record okay so we have two option either we can go to this particular record and assign it to the queue that is the manual uh, that that means the manual assignment or we can use any salesforce automation to add it to the salesforce queue okay so uh, automatic automation like salesforce flows we can use earlier we have workflow and the process builders also which uh, using which we can directly assign them to the salesforce queues okay now the next point in this we have is the shared ownership okay Shared ownership means that in the Salesforce queue, individual user is not the owner of the record. Here, the multiple users are the owner of the record. Okay, until and unless any member from the queue take the ownership of the record until they release it to the another one. Okay, so here anyone from the Salesforce queue can take the ownership of this particular record. For that time, he can be the uh, owner of the record, and then when his role or his task is completed, he can assign to other person in the same to the other member in the same queue okay so another so another points comes here is the list view so okay so you can as we know we can create different different list views based on our criteria or the requirement okay so similarly based on the salesforce queues also you can create the say uh, this list view so which makes more easy and more manageable of the records okay so now so these are some of the points which we have discussed about the salesforce queue now let's move to the salesforce org and see how we can create and how we can assign records to the salesforce queue So here uh, from the queue setup, uh, so here from queue find box, you can enter the queues and here is this queues. Now when you clicked on this queue, so here uh, in my org, I already have one queue already created unclaimed positions. Okay, so when I click on this queue, so here these are the users which are already added to this queue okay let's edit it and and see what are the information we can add to this queue okay so here first thing is label name whatever the thing you want a name you want to give you can give here so this is the email so on this email the notification will be sent to all the members which are added to this queue okay so send email to the member so this is optional if you will going to mark, uh, tick this checkbox then the mail notification will be sent via mail to all these members okay now next comes is the supported object okay so salesforce queues are also not available for all the objects okay so whatever the available objects we have are shown here so on any object either it is custom or the standard which are available here you can select and accordingly on that particular object the queues option will be available okay so currently only position is selected on the position you will going to have the option so now next comes here is the queue members okay what is queue members here here you will get the different option you can add either the public groups here you can add different roles also based on the roles these members should be the part of this queue okay based on roles and subordinate and again individual users can also be added to this queue okay so currently what i have done i have added based on the roles also whatever the users having the role as recruiting manager will be added to this queue or will get notified and this particular member individual user will also get notified about this queue uh, whenever the record is created okay so here so here this is how we will going to create the salesforce queue okay so now here as you can see my screen i am on this broker object okay so this is the custom object and this is available here in this queue supported object here broker So here currently uh, broker is available where we can add the Salesforce queue option. Okay, so broker is not selected. Now whenever I move to this object, 
and whenever I want to change the owner so here it will only going to give me the option to add the user okay here currently I am not having any option to add Q also as a part of the Salesforce owner okay so when I am going to select it in this let's select this one also broker and save this okay here now two uh, objects are available position and broker okay let's refresh this and now when i will going to change this here as you can see icon is available i can assign or reassign this record to any individual user also or to the queues also okay so queue in the queue currently we have only one queue available that is the unclaimed positions right so unclaimed i have to write the complete so here unclaimed position is available i can change this to or assign this record to the this queue okay now what happened whatever the users or the individuals added or whatever the members added to this salesforce queue got notification on the email okay now any one of the member or based on the requirement anyone can pick up this record and take this forward okay so this is how salesforce queues work in salesforce okay so in this video uh, so in this video we have discussed about the salesforce queue how they work why we require them okay what are the examples where we can consider salesforce queues okay if you have any question or any doubt related to this let me know in the comment section thank you